All right, here's the first of many thoughts on the 49ers, their loss to the Falcons, and what they can do to fix stuff moving forward. And, uh, you know, I just watched the replay of the game for the second time, and I have to say that defensive tackle was a huge, huge concern against the Falcons. Now, I know that Atlanta is rare in that they play offense like the 49ers. They go out there and they smash the football. They run more than expectation, and they'll expose you if you're weak on the interior, if you can't just clog that interior. And the 49ers, I also understand that they were extremely shorthanded. No Eric Armstead, no Javon Kinlaw on the inside, but their three lowest graded players. I mean, this is something I noticed on film and PFF corroborated this. Their three lowest graded players were their defensive tackles. Hassan Ridgeway, Kevin Givens, Akeem Spence. I mean, these guys got washed out. They didn't have good games. The 49ers had to bring Kerry Hyder Jr. in from end to play a tackle. And uh, this is going to be an issue against teams that can run the ball. So what do the 49ers do? Well, A, you hope that Eric Armstead can come back. B, you hope that Javon Kinlaw can come back. But that's going to be at least four games. Do you have to get defensive tackle help? And Dominican Sue is out there. Do you, do you kick the tires on that? Do you need somebody who could command some of these double teams? Because DJ Jones is out the door. DJ Jones is in Denver leading the league in run-stop win rate. But uh, Eric Armstead saved the 49ers run defense last season when he moved inside. He might save their, their run defense this season when uh, he returns because they need somebody on the inside. But the one stat that I have to tell you from yesterday's game is that the 49ers only had five pressures. They had 36 pressures against the Rams a couple weeks ago. The difference there is not just, oh, they didn't have Nick Bosa. He's worth at most 15 pressures a game, right? And that's a lot. But that still doesn't make up this massive 30 pressure difference that we've seen. The difference is that the 49ers did not earn the right to rush the passer yesterday. You have to stop the run to earn the right to rush the passer. Against the Rams in, in their previous games this season, they had done just that. 36 pressures against the Rams. They didn't earn the right to rush the passer yesterday because Atlanta was able to just run the ball at will. It wasn't, you know, they weren't spectacular runs, but they were able to defuse the 49ers pass rush. Five pressures is a whole lot less than 36. It's all about controlling game flow. And the only way that you can control, control game flow is if you stop the run. And the only way that you can stop the run is if you have competent defensive tackle play. So how are the 49ers going to fix this? We'll see. But Armstead is probably answer number one.